Every event that takes place on a Broward College campus requires a process of rigorous planning and preparation, especially an event on the magnitude of the gubernatorial debates. Months of hard work and dedication were essential to make this dream a reality. This process included gubernatorial debate team preparation, stand-in preparation, and also student groups meeting during the summer and the beginning of the fall semester. Hi, my name is Rima Thomas and I was a stand-in for the gubernatorial debates. I was prepared to be a stand-in journalist. I went to the stand-in meetings that were held where leaders and Broward College alum came and spoke to us about how we should prepare and tips. They even taught us about how to act when we were interviewed, like not to look at the camera, to be calm, to breathe. Another portion of preparing for this debate were the weekly civic spaces. These spaces were held and allowed students to come together to expound and address issues in Florida. Hi, my name is Sandra Coat. Um, I'm the president of the political science group and I'm an intern here for the professional enhancement program. During the civic spaces, I know I learned about like some of the amendments that are going to be on the ballot, which I thought was really awesome because before I wasn't even really sure what I was going to be looking for on my ballot. About four years ago, we had also had the gubernatorial debate here on campus, and we thought of bringing uh, pol politics to life here, and so we combined political science classes and invited elected leaders. And so this time around, we wanted to do something different and innovative, and decided to branch out and create what we call community circles, so that uh, different classes had the opportunity to visit and hear from our local elected officials where students gathered around and discussed pertinent issues that they thought were important for them and for the community. My name is David Consuegra. I was one of the stand-ins. I was actually the moderator, one of the moderators uh, during the stand-in for the gubernatorial debates. Students to engage in a conversation um, and sometimes it's a conversation that we've never really been introduced to because when you think about it we go in and there's probably like 40, 50 people, and then we all try to pick what topic we want to talk about, so it's it's very unexpected. Well, we pl I try to plug them into everything that's happening on campus, and there's so many things that are happening. There's the civic spaces, there's the movie nights, there's the community um, circles like we have today. Um, so I try to take advantage of all of those by giving my students extra credit <laughs> opportunities. Um, but then I also bring speakers into my classroom on a regular basis. Um, I think it's really important. Community circles was another event that was held during the weeks prior to the debates. These circles were outlets to let faculty and students speak and ask questions about what is happening in our own backyards. This was a way to help expand students' knowledge on civic issues and events of our community and how we can get involved. Some examples of these circles were hearing from the Public Safety Department on how to bridge the gap between law enforcement and our citizens. Speakers ranged from the League of Women's Voters, the Coral Springs Commissioner Dan Daly, and the Supervisor of Elections, Brenda Snipes. Students were engaged and inspired to be more involved in the community and to understand the positive impact they can make. Hello, my name is Matthew Belzoro. I attended almost all of the Civic Spaces events and I was a moderator stand-in for the debates. Uh, it was a debate a, on, think, on topics that people cared about, new, uh, new uh, perspectives were, all, were almost always being spread and each time I always came out with something new. Hi, my name is Rajani Ayusi and I'm a PEP intern here at Broward College. I've had the opportunity to go to every single civic spaces since it began and I think my most memorable civic spaces was when um, we had the students come from Brazil and we had a really exciting conversation about a controversial topic and it was nice to see them engage and see the difference in perspective um, between cultures and experiences and so really civic spaces opened up my eyes to so many things and really made me think not only about politics but about social issues. For the debate, our stand-ins worked tirelessly to help producers and executive directors prepare for the debates. A luncheon was held for the students and faculty to reflect on how they were chosen to be a part of the debates and what they were able to learn from the experience. 
On the night of the debate, students and faculty joined to listen to the gubernatorial candidates. Many students attended the watch parties and discussed the opinions and topics that were argued between the candidates. There were five separate watch parties that were streaming the debate and giving real-time analysis of statements and remarks. Once the debates were finished, students were able to learn the importance of civic literacy and expanding their knowledge of Republican and Democratic views by watching the debates and researching the views of the candidates. This was able to help students become politically active and to enhance their understanding of why it is important to vote and the difference it can make in the community. Prior to this event, to the gubernatorial debate, I actually did not know who I was going to vote for, nor did I know what each candidate had to say and what their beliefs and what their policies would be. So this event was definitely eye-opening and it allowed me to see which candidate I would most likely choose, which candidate I would vote for, and allow me to be informed as a student and as just a civilian. Everyone, for the most part, that you know, they would walk by Building 3, they would see it was completely secured, and then they would ask the question of what's going on here, and then be like, oh, it's the gubernatorial debates. And then they would maybe ask, well, well who's running for government, right? Or who's running for office, who's running for whatever, what is this debate about? And so then, in a way, it enlightens them. My name is Lauren McIntosh, a second year student at Broward College, and I got the chance to participate in the 2018 gubernatorial debate by shadowing the person in charge of the debate, Elise Martinez. This event being hosted in Bailey Hall at Broward College gave students the chance to witness a political debate in person rather than watching it on TV. And now, since they got the chance to see this debate, I'm sure that students feel more engaged and maybe even persuaded them to get more involved in the political atmosphere. During this experience, I learned what it takes to put on a debate, the behind the scenes, and I even got to meet the Democratic candidate, Andrew Gillum. This event was so beneficial for many students, the stand-ins and myself, that got to participate because it gave us the behind the scenes, it gave us what it takes to put on a de debate, and it, and it taught us what it takes to be a candidate and for them to learn that you need to study the policies and such. So this was very educational and I'll forever remember this experience. I'm very proud of our students. Students from all of our campuses worked very hard to make these events a success. We even included students from our international centers. And now, let's look forward to the 2020 elections.